to Southern Miss Today. I'm your host, Elise Dijon. It's 1231 on Monday, March 2nd. In case you're just now tuning in, we just spoke with Dr. Weinauer and Dr. Creel. And we'll have more, we have more details about that on our Facebook page. Later, we will speak with Amanda Calhoun. But right now, let's keep the donut rolling with Christina Foreman from the Office of Sustainability. Hello, Ms. Foreman. Hi, thank you very much for having me on your show today. Thank you. Thank you for being here. So we're going to be talking about the swap table. And this is something that is really cool that you guys are starting to do. And yeah, let's, let's, let's hear about it. All right. Well, the swap table is a monthly event that is uh, sponsored by my office, the Office of Sustainability. And uh, it grew out of a one-time event we had in November for our No Impact Week. Yes, ma'am, I remember that. Yeah, we were focusing on consumption and how we could reduce our consumption and reuse the items that we already had in our daily lives rather than going out and always buying new stuff. So we had the first swap table in November, and the premise of that is instead of going out and buying something you need, come by the swap table with something you don't want anymore from right. your life, swap it out for something you see on the table that you do want. And uh, we found that in November we had um, a lot of positive response to it, so much so that we decided to make it a monthly event. And so now we have it every month, the first Wednesday and Thursday of each month from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., and usually out in Shoemaker Square. Excuse me. Usually out in Shoemaker Square if the weather is nice, mm -hmm. and if there is a chance of rain, we will be having it in the Thad Cochran lobby. So this week it might end up being in the Thad Cochran okay, yeah. Center. It's, it's a rainy week, and that's, that's kind of a bummer. But it's not a bummer that the event is still going to be going on. So guys, check that out. And you can bring, like, books and clothes or household items, other miscellaneous things. What's some of the things that um, were brought to the swap in November, if you can remember? Maybe something that kind of stuck out to you. We've had lots of interesting things come in. Um, we've had some nice, like, household appliances, like we had a coffee maker, an infrared oven, food mm. processor. So some pretty big items that... You can come and exchange something you don't want anymore for this. And we don't really do like a relative value. You don't have to have something expensive to trade for something right. expensive. But we just ask that the things you do bring be something that someone else would want. So, you know, if you bring a pencil or a beer koozie or something for <laughs> a food processor, we're probably going to say, mm, think about something that's right. got a little bit more value to someone else. Um, but, uh, yeah, and we have a lot of books. We've got posters. We've had some interesting things. Like we had a great... Um, picture of the uh, Bennett Auditorium that mm -hmm. went last last time. Well, that's nice. Um, we have people bring in artwork and um, just the most random things. It's always fun to stop yeah. by, even if you don't have anything to trade, just to see what's there, because it's like the ultimate garage sale where you don't have to pay <laughs> any money for anything. And, and that's really, really great, because... We are on a college campus, and that can be very beneficial to our college students or even our faculty and staff that we have here in our community, so that's wonderful. And I know we were talking earlier about um, partnering with other organizations for this particular swap, so if we wanted to get in contact with you to do that, how could we do that? Um, anyone, uh, any organization that would like to partner with us uh, with this event is certainly welcome to contact me. I would say the best thing to do would just be to email me, mm -hmm. which is christina.foreman at usm.edu, and I'd be happy to talk with you about your ideas and see if we can put something into place. Right. So our... Um we're going to have that email address on our Facebook page, and we're going to also put you um, the Office of Sustainability's social media handles um, on our page as well. Great. Now, coming up in April, starting on April 20th, you guys have Earth Week, right? Yes, we have a lot of really great programs going on for Earth Week, which starts Monday, April 20th. Uh, on that day, we are having a poetry night down at T-Bones Cafe from 8 to 10 p.m. And this is an event we have not had before, but we're really excited about it. We've gotten a lot of positive feedback from people. Mm -hmm. It's open to community and campus members. Anyone who has uh, sort of environmentally related or social justice poetry can be original poetry, can be um, just poetry works from a, a famous poet that you would like to share. And... Um, the owner of T-Bone, Terry Crumpler, has generously agreed to donate a portion of his profits to a local nonprofit organization called Sustainabuild. Right, and that's going to be great for everybody. Um, I know we were talking a little bit earlier about the spoken word, and I, I am kind of into that. So 
if um, my schedule permits, I will definitely come by and support and hopefully be inspired to share we with you all. We would love to see you there. And any <laughs> other be something new. Any other closet poets out there? We right. would love to have all you. All the closet surface. poets. <laughs> let's let's just come and band together and take over this. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, it would be great um, to have people come and do that. That's wonderful. On Tuesday, we have a special kind of event. Right? Right. Uh, we are partnering with Honors College to bring a local petal farmer, Ben Burkett, to speak about sustainability in the new world economy. And that is a, an honors forum that is going to occur at 6.30 p.m. And uh, he is not only a local farmer, but he's also a food activist who has spoken around the country. And um, he also won the James Beard Leadership Award last year. So we're very honored that would, he would come and speak to our campus community. Yeah, he's right here in our Pine Belt area. That's so right. That's wonderful. And then on Wednesday, April 22nd, from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., we have the Earth Fair, which is an event we've had um, for several years in a row. And that is just an opportunity for campus and community organizations to come out and share their environmental message. Um, we generally have a lot of participation, and it's a very fun event full of kind of opti optimism and excitement, and we look to have a really good crowd this year. And then Thursday is a new fair. It's the reuse fair. Right. This is something new we're trying. Um, we realize that uh, we aren't the only people out there that really like to reuse things mm -hmm. and create new products out of old products. So. We are offering anybody who likes to do that kind of thing to contact me and get signed up to come and display your creativity at our reuse fair. Um, it can be anything that, um, anything that you would normally throw away that you can create and transform into something else, whether it's um, art or a functional item. Um, for example, we have a student who likes to make um, bags out of old t-shirts mm -hmm. and someone who can take old bottles and make art and make candles out of them. And I think you said that um, you know some people who do some fashion things. Yes, I know. Um, I have two acquaintances of mine. They're from Jackson, Hannah and Jasmine Bowie. They have a clothing company where they kind of chase, um, take, for example, I have a, I have a pea coat and um, They'll take it and we'll kind of consult with one another and they will make a blazer or, you know, maybe a skirt or a purse or something out of that. So I definitely want to get those ladies in contact with you as well. So, you know, this the things that you guys are doing at the Office of Sustainability, you never know what kind of impact or what kind of connections you can make with um, other people in the community or the surrounding area. So I'm really excited um, for the things that you're doing. That's, uh, kudos to you guys. Well, thank you so you're much. Welcome. Yeah, we're really excited to see what kind of great ideas um, come to light here at the Reuse Fair. So anybody who has those kind of ideas, please contact me. We would love to sign you up to uh, join our Reuse Fair. And of course, those of you who aren't creative like that but want to stop by <laughs> and see what's out there we will invite everyone to come by um that's going to be um like i said thursday april 23rd on weathers Lawn from 11 a.m to 1 p.m and we will be doing voting on our favorite displays mm. And Friday to end the week, we have the field trip to a farmstead. Yeah, we are going to be taking people out to Fulmer's Farmstead, um, which is a farm outside of Richton, Mississippi, which is about 40 minutes east of here. Okay. And they are really amazing. They do all of their farming by horse-drawn plows and mm -hmm. other vehicles. They don't do any kind of mechanized farming. They hand pick their crops. They only use natural fertilizers. They do not use pesticides or herbicides. It's just really this wonderful, it's almost like a step back in time to see what they're doing. And the fact cool that they can. they're still doing that. Yeah, and the fact that they can make this type of farming, which is so healthy for the land and it's so healthy for human beings who eat the produce, that they can make it work. You know, yeah. they've been making a living doing this, and it shows that you don't have to use a bunch of chemicals and big machines to have a, a, a functional farm that you can make a profit on. And while we're there, we're also going to check out, they have all sorts of different livestock mm -hmm. that they use. They have some old frontier cabins, and um, they also have a really great general store where they have a lot of bulk food items. Mm -hmm. They have locally canned preserves and I have to say I bet they're amazing oh I have to say that their um, <laughs> crab apple jelly is like one of the best things I've Her ever mouth is water, life. Guys. oh my gosh yeah <laughs> and you can get fresh baked bread there and then they also uh, while we are doing our field trip we're going to be doing it um, from 9 a.m. to or actually no I'm sorry it's gonna be 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. so we're going to be there over lunch mm -hmm. so bring about ten dollars for lunch 
and you will have like one of the best farm fresh meals of your life. And if they have any produce ready in their fields, they incorporate that into their meals. Um, it's just a, You're making me hungry. I uh, know it is a delicious, fabulous, interesting, fulfilling field trip. And um, anyone who's interested, please contact me. You know, email me at that Christina Foreman address, and I'll be glad to sign you up. Yes, so with everything that we have going on, Earth Week coming up in April, we'll be on the lookout for that. And this Wednesday and Thursday, the swap table on Shoemaker Square from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., correct? Yep, unless it rains. And yes, we'll be in the lobby rains, of it'll be in the lobby of Thad Cochran. Um, we're going to put all that information for you guys on our Facebook page. After our break coming up, we will end the show with Amanda Calhoun. But right now, we're going to thank Ms. Foreman. Thank you for being here. We appreciate it. You are a friend to the show, and let's continue to be friends and come on the show and talk to us again. That sounds great. Anytime. Thanks again for having me. No problem. Right now, guys, I have some music for you. Check out Three by Rooster Blues. We'll be right back with Southern Miss Today.